the fear of racism is something that holds so many people back from moving to another country just because they have seen these things generally on movies on news things like that and it is not something which is comfortable of course if you're coming from a different country you want to feel welcome in that particular country and so on and what happens in those kind of scenarios is people think that every single person in that particular country thinks that way which is not entirely correct my name is Bharat and in this video I want to talk about racism in Germany, my personal experience. I have traveled a lot of countries in Europe right now. We have traveled to um, Denmark, we have a house there, we have stayed there for longer durations. Right now we are in Norway, we have also been to um, Czech Republic, so that was one country. Then we also were in Romania. So we were in all of these different countries and what I experienced so far was my experience in Germany was one of the best ones amongst all of the other countries. Now, this could be a reason that I was living in a bigger city, which was Hamburg. And in Hamburg, you have, I think, almost, what, 47% of the people or something, like, from migrant backgrounds. So, like, one of the parents were migrants or something like that. And I never faced any kind of, like, racism or anything like that in Hamburg at all. So, like, during my time in Germany, it was actually very nice. I could talk to anybody I want. Uh, I also went to, like, in Germany, I went to Heidelberg, I went to Munich, I went to Berlin, Bremen and Stuttgart, Frankfurt, there were like so many other like cities I visited and not in any of those cities I felt something like that. So that's the first thing but like on the flip side it is not that um, it does not exist at all like sometimes you have people like who are just like looking at you because you look different. I saw a lot of that in Romania. I think the way like most of the Romanian people speak it's a, a, with a lot of like contempt because of the problem they have with the gypsies and the gypsies are supposed to be coming from India like from like hundreds of years back or something like that so there if you look a bit darker or something I've seen like many Romanians look at you which is of course not a nice feeling but I actually did not even notice it like Alina told me and it sh she showed me over and over again like look this person is looking at you this person is looking at you and I'm like okay like this is not really normal then there was another experience where like there was this guy who was like um talking to Alina just fine because like we were living in the same apartment complex and then all of a sudden when I come inside and I like of course also greeted him but like then he doesn't speak or react at all so I, I personally like am not a huge fan of like what I saw in Romania so far I mean like it's great for doing business and stuff but I think like the culturally it is not that um, welcoming and I think like the xenophobic ideas are maybe a lot more prevalent in Romania, this is at least what I know from the friends um, I have from Romania, like I talked to them and so on and they told me that like generally behind the closed doors when people speak to each other, it is with some kind of stereotypes that they have for every single country. So of course, I mean something that you have to keep in mind when you're going there. In Denmark, I think it was definitely better than Romania, um, but in Denmark you have to remember that they also have a very strong right-wing um, sentiment there. So that's why you do not see them taking in a lot of refugees. There was also one incident where they gathered all of the refugees on one single island where there was no supermarket or anything like that. And they said like they are not welcome here and we want them to feel that. And this thing was that all of these refugees were essentially um, were having some kind of criminal background previously. So many people can say yes, like it's understandable. Um, but like otherwise, overall, I generally still see like in Denmark, you have um, these kind of like, you know, right wing uh, ideas. Also, then there was another time in Denmark when I went to an ATM and I was like taking out money. And of course, I was taking out a lot of money because we had a lot of people to pay. And then there were like these two people who came with the car and they were just like constantly staring and like were looking at their purses and stuff as if like I'm going to run to them and like going to steal their purse or something and like, you know, get the money from them and things like that. So that was a funny experience. Now, this could be because we are living on an island and on the island, you generally do not see people from different kind of backgrounds, different skin colors and so on. Um, could be a reason but like in general I just feel like Denmark is very very uh, different than what you see in Germany just the normal culture the norm is so much different than what I have seen in Germany so far and the same is true for Eastern European countries too Romania I've seen like the, the xenophobic ideas are a lot higher they are like Hungary the same thing I can say like at least these two countries like I've experienced people from there like the way they speak and everything it is not in a nice tone at all and the funny thing is like these are the countries themselves who are moving to more developed nations like Germany UK and so on so that they can find employment there if you would take a look at the charts of the population in Eastern Europe 
Bulgaria has the fastest declining population, followed by Romania. The population in Romania is not increasing, it is decreasing. And that is a very interesting pattern because more people are choosing to move out of Romania than like moving there and like, you know, start their life or something or like even staying there. Then afterwards, I think like Norway, our experience is fine so far. Um, people are definitely more strict with the regulations and stuff. But I think like nothing like negative or like overly positive that I can like really mention here. You will see that Germany in general is very welcoming towards foreigners because they know that they depend on foreigners so that they can keep on running the government further, keep on running the country further so that they can work in different kind of companies and so on. Also back in 1980s, there was such a big number of Turkish people who came and started their lives in Germany, started working here and so on. And I think like from the entire immigrant group, I'm not really sure, but I think it's, it makes up around like 2 million people um, in Germany. And Germany has a population of around like 82 million right now. So that is uh, very interesting. You have a lot of like, you know, people from the Turkish background there. You have a lot of Polish people there, a lot of Russians because there were also like this entire like category of people which are called German Russians who went to Russia 300 years back or something and then afterwards they were invited back to come back to Germany and start living there like Alina's family so for example I was talking to Alina's grandparents once and they said like they were having Russian passports but in that it was written that their origin is uh, German which is like very interesting so for them it was very easy to like come back to Germany and start their life here in general like Germany is a lot more welcoming and you can build your life so much easier here if you're coming in as a student you just have to study here then afterwards you can work here for two years and then afterwards you can get your permanent residency here without any kind of major dramas also getting a citizenship and stuff you can just get in five years like once you start working which is also very nice. Yes, there could be some incidents here and there, like you will find them on news or something, but most of the times Germany is a pretty safe country. I've lived there for almost four years and now we still have to like travel back and forth because we meet Alina's family there. We still have some kind of business to do. So overall, I have not had any kind of negative experience while working with the people in Germany or living there. And I think it is a pretty safe country for foreigners to come to, especially compared to many other European countries that you would see. This is pretty much it. This is my experience of racism in Germany, which is really like nothing dramatic or like something that I can tell you because racism is also something that I very clearly define as an if there's somebody who clearly comes to your face and tells you like, you know, leave my country or something like that or says like these kind of nonsense things then that is an indication of racism. Whereas other times when somebody is just being grumpy or is having a bad mood or something or is not like speaking to you nicely, many of times that is a part of the culture. That could be how the day is going on for that particular individual or many other factors. But if somebody comes to you and explicitly tells you something racist, then that's an indication of racism. That's pretty much it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.